Wow. Well, today I just want to let you know I'm here sitting with the Honorable Doctor Ambassador Territorial Commander of the Caribbean, Andre Thomas, a mighty man of God. I'm sitting here on the couch and I'm going to ask him some few questions. There's been a lot going on, a lot being said about the upcoming School of Breakthrough that he's launching and it's going to happen this month in April. I just want him to ask, a, ask him a few questions that I've been hearing all over and everything. And two questions that came up in, in this uh, discussion and some things that I've been hearing all around the place is about uh, territorial commander. As a territorial commander, how do you deal? How do you deal, Dr. Thomas? I just want to say, actually, how do you deal with destiny restrainers? Thank you so much, uh, Apostle Thornhill. That's a really great question. I'm excited to be here with you and excited that you are tuning in to find out more about the International School of Breakthrough. And the reason why it's called School of Breakthrough, Jesus said, you shall know the truth and the truth shall make you free. And, and sometimes to get truth, you've got to invest time to get truth. And this particular International School of Breakthrough is given with destiny trainers and satanic gatekeepers. Now, what's a destiny restrainer? A destiny restrainer is a spirit that what it does, it has the effect of operating like a tug of war. Yeah. So if you think of a tug of war, you have a rope, and one person is pulling this way, other person is pulling that way. So a destiny restrainer is a spirit that actually pulls the other way. These are the spirits that oppress people when they're sleeping. So when people are sleeping and all of a sudden they feel this heaviness on them and they're trying to shake themselves, these are spirits that, that are now manifesting physically. But what they do, the same effect they have in which they're resisting you from getting up. So are they resisting your light from shining off? So are they resisting your food from being born? So are they resisting your breakthrough from coming forth? So these spirits resist what God has pushing you to come out. Wow. So, 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 and so their focus is not to stop what God has coming from you outside from coming to you. Their focus is to stop what God has put in you to come out. That is why they physically manifest as they're pushing you. So they physically manifest, you're lying on your bed and you feel this force pushing you, you want to get up. Think of it, if they're doing that in the physical, what are they doing in the spirit? Wow, wow. So these spirits stop and restrain the treasure that's inside people from coming forth. That's what these spirits do. And so people struggle to birth what is inside of them because of these destiny restrainers. Wow. Yes. So, so are you saying many of the problems and challenges people have been having yes. here and there, it's like a tug of war. I've never heard that before. Yes. It's like a literal tug of war going on. So is th does that explain why sometimes it seems people go two steps forward and then they go back, absolutely. back and forth? Absolutely. It's absolutely. So they're dealing with destiny restraints. Wow. And so, and so for them to move ahead, they have to deal with the destiny restrainer because the destiny restrainer can be cast out. Wow. The destiny restrainer can be cast out. Now, there are times when the, the dealing with demons is very much like dealing with uh, pests. There are certain pests you have in your house. You can deal with it yourself. You have a cockroach, you don't need to call pest control. You can take your, your shoe and deal with the cockroach. If you have uh, some flies or some mosquitoes flying around in the bedroom, you can get some insecticide spray and deal with it. But there's a type of pest that it's in your house. You may need to call pest control. So the way God has ordained it, God has specialists. He has specialists. And one of my jobs is I'm a breakthrough specialist. Wow. And so the people that need to break through 
the, the wall and the defense of destiny is in us. So those people have been there in a prison that's been, that's been created by destiny is in us. Right? So I'm anointed to deal with that. And so this weekend, Friday, Saturday, Sunday, inviting people to, to come to the International School of Breaking. Go on the website, fawngroval.com or fawonline.org and go and join and see it, learn more, click on it, and you can go in and, and, and actually come out of it. Wow, I have one more question. Listen, people, I'm talking with the breakthrough specialist. The breakthrough specialist. There's one more question. There's another aspect of it I'm hearing about, and it's called uh, satanic gatekeepers. Yes, okay, so, destiny restrictors stop what is inside of you from coming out. Satanic gatekeepers stop what is outside of you. Oh, wow. 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 Yes. Wow. So satanic gatekeepers, think of it, satanic gatekeepers are, if you go into a secure facility, you will have security guys at the gate. So think of you, you have a package coming from DHL and you work in an office in which there is somebody at the gate. Yeah. And, and, and they have this, uh, this bar that is raised up and down. And they go and they say, I have a package for... Uh, Dr. Thornhill, and they say there's no Dr. Thornhill here. Wow, wow. They're in the wrong place. Wow. So, so the package came for you, but there's an enemy at the That's gate. It. Wow. So wow, you hear that? <laughs> yes, there's an enemy at the gate. So this enemy at the gate. So there are people. They have. A, so there are people who have an enemy at the gate, but they don't have a destiny in them. Wow. Then the people that have a destiny is theater and they have an enemy at the gate. And the people they are both. Wow. So wait up, <laughs> This is amazing. What about these things cannot be dealt with in the church service? No. These things require special attention. Because the reason why the, now in a church service, technically they can be, but the service will be a very long service. That is why we will have our fathers, example, I'm just thinking of uh, Pastor Christian, who will have the night of bliss, which is the all night. It goes from 6 o'clock in the morning, 6 o'clock in the afternoon, all the way, 6 o'clock in the evening, all the way to 6 o'clock in the morning. 12 hours, because there's certain cases you cannot deal with, because what happens is, it's not that the power of God is not strong. But the capacity of the people need to increase oh. then to be able to receive that level of power. So you actually need time to expand the capacity of the people. Because remember, this is when you understand about the power of God. Because the power, this is one of the greatest mysteries of the power of God. The Bible says God is a spirit. Yes. Therefore, God has never touched your flesh. Wow. God has never touched your mind. What God does, the power of God comes and comes into your spirit. Then from your spirit, it flows out to your body. Wow. Wow. And from your spirit, it flows out to your mind. Wow. That is why if I'm praying for somebody and there's unforgiveness in their spirit, mm. the power of God bounces. You understand? Yes, sir. Because so, so the power of God does not go to your body because God is a spirit. God is not a body. Yes. So God deals with your spirit, not your body. God is not an emotion. It doesn't deal with your emotion. Wow. God deals with your spirit. So, therefore, in order for people to receive, you have to expand their spirit. Wow. You have to help them increase their spiritual capacity. So you may have a destiny strainer, but the level of power required to cast that destiny strainer out, you do not have that capacity to receive such a power. So that has to be expanded by the word. Mm, I see. So the word of God expands your faith to be able to receive. Because think of it, Jesus said, 
why ye of little faith? Little faith means it's tantamount to little power. Yes. So if you have little faith, you receive what? Little power. Get faith, get power. Now faith coming by here and here by the word. So the word has to come to expand you. Yes. And then so you now now so I can tell you a satanic gatekeeper, little faith but it can't the power. Because it was a satanic gatekeeper that stopped Gabriel from delivering the message to that. Wow. Wow. So you have that level stopping angels from coming to you. Wow. Remember I said the dear show man wants to come in and yes. deliver a package to you. Yes. But the man at the gate yes. stops him. Wow. That's the satanic gatekeeper. Jesus. So dealing with satanic gatekeeper is crucial. So so prophet, <laughs> this is amazing because yes. I'm hearing it's almost you're saying a light needs to enter. Yes. So who should be attending this international school of ritual? What is the who is the, the the kind of person that should be at this school of ritual? People who feel that things in their life are stagnant. God has promised things, and they know God promised it. They know they have God. They know it's the season, but it's not moving. Things are not moving, and 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 that's one set of people. The next set of people are people who. So if, if things are not moving, it's either there's a restrainer or there's a gatekeeper or there's both. Number two is, now this is something that a person might say, but this is the New Testament. The Bible says something. Paul said, I long to come and see you, but Satan needed me. So Paul wanted to come to the city. But the satanic gatekeeper Wow. 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 <laughs> this is the apostle Paul. Wow. The satanic gatekeeper is Wow. You see that? <laughs> yeah. So 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 you understand. So these are serious things. So 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 people who sense that things are being delayed, that God has for them, they need to be at this moment. When you're experiencing delay, because you could be dealing with a restrainer or a gatekeeper. Wow. Now, also those who get certain attacks in which you're lying down and you feel yourself being pushed, you're definitely dealing with a restrainer. Or if you are praying, or sometimes in your room you may not be sleeping, but you feel a force coming and it kind of pushes you. That's a restrainer in your atmosphere. And it's there to stop the treasure in you coming out that is due to come out. Wow. It is due to come out. So these are all the individuals that really should, should be there at the meeting. And uh, yes. The question, the other thing, as you speak and I'm listening and I'm hearing and I'm receiving these downloads. Yes. Is it also, what about, is it only for Christians or... Because in these days, a lot of people are looking for resources, a lot of people are looking for outside help. You know, people are going to tarot cards, they're going to everything. Just Christians need to attend such no, event. No, no, no. Anybody can attend this event. Anybody can attend this event. And because the Lord has a big destiny for everybody. So anybody oh. can attend this event and receive from the Lord. And receive from the Lord and deal with those experiences and the keepers in their life. So anybody can attend. And you and if you're international, you can get on a plane and come or you can come virtually. Okay. Wow, virtually. So yes. that means they can attend online. They can attend wow. online if you're international. If you're in Barbados, definitely you want to come in person. Wow. But if you're international, you can come virtually. Wow. Yes. And you and I am going to not only teach this, I'm going to pray for you personally. And what it allows me, it allows me to give individual attention to everybody to make sure we deal with those areas of their life. Well, I must say you've heard it. I'm sitting with the solutionists himself, the prophets of the Caribbean. As I'm telling you, territorial command in its own right. I'm telling you, the specialist of breakthrough. So I want you to know, go to the necessary places, go to Form Global and get registered. It's happening right in Barbados here. 
it's a privilege to be sitting with you here, sir. Thank you so much and offering your time to let us have a talk about this stuff. Amen. Amen. Before we go, hold up. Is this only going to be a one time? No. Every month, as long as we're in Barbados, we will be having an international school of breakthrough to deal with certain troublesome stomach conditions. The school of breakthrough is only for hard cases. It's a school to deal with hard conditions, the kind that Jesus said would not work by prayer and fasting. Wow. Jesus said this kind. This kind. So that means there's a kind of bondage that requires special attention. Well, the school, International School of Breakthrough, is, is, is a school based on my God to deal with the kind of bondage that requires special attention. Wow, you've heard it. If you your case requires special attention, I'll let you know. Contact uh, Divine Visitation Assemblies Fund Global, Dr. Andre Thomas. If you have a case that needs uh, divine attention, I'm telling you it's happening at International School of Breakthrough. In Jesus' name, stay connected.